I'm Ross Thomas, and today I'm with legendary Hawaiian waterman Brian Kealana at the Big Wave Safety Summit held at Turtle Bay Resort. The gathering advises surfers on the newest strategies and equipment for improving safety in a dangerous sport. So I'm on the back of the ski with legendary waterman Brian Kealana. Today he's got some of the some of the surf industry's best surfers and watermen out here to do a course in safety big wave safety techniques, etc. Uh, it's a real testament to the kind of guy Brian is. You see the cadre of people that have showed up here today to take part in this. We're going out on the jet ski right now. As you can see behind me, we're pulling the, uh, how do you call it, Brian? The, the, the Sasquatch? Subsquatch. The Subsquatch. We got guys on the Subsquatch. We got rescue boards. We're going out to see some of the most modern day innovations in surf rescue safety. Stay tuned. It's going to get real out here. Brian Kealana, you got you got some of the best surfers in the world with you out in the water right now, practicing these uh, these safety techniques with the, with the different um, instruments you have out here, the jet skis, these these giant pads. Tell us a little bit about what's, what's been going on. Well, a lot of it is all the, the mission is safety, or the goal is safety. So really, what we're doing is just identifying dangers, hazards, and assessing what risks we, we are do, um, doing, and just trying to control those risks, basically. So all the techniques you see is just techniques of learning from individuals from different you know people and all that kind of stuff and you know we got Terry Ahui, we got uh, Craig Davidson, um, some of the city lifeguards, Mark Healy, you know some of the best big wave riders around. I mean I was asking earlier if you was to um, ask each of these guys what is, what is the biggest wave they rode and try to multiply that what the wave would be, what do you think? I give up. Right? <laughs> I said I said a thousand, yeah. thousand I, feet. I, I say more than that. <laughs> more than, more than that. Trying to take the ego out of it. <laughs> Maybe that'll keep me alive. <laughs> the most important part for me is you know to be on good teacher. You got to be on good student, and and that's what I'm trying to be is on good student as well. Because a lot of the questions you guys ask is also my learning curve too. You know they ask some important questions, things that maybe I take for granted. These guys, they really don't know, you know, so it's like, for us, it's common knowledge. So that common knowledge, we're trying to, you know, transfer them over to these guys. Because it's not if, it's when. I might get my ass picked up out in the ocean and one of these guys might grab me, you know. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's the whole thing and stuff. Trying to make our environment one safer place. Everything's always advancing, right? We have new inflation vests. The handles on the back of the vest is kind of a, an idea before, but I like to bring that back also too. Um, there's a lot of individual technology, individual ideas, and I think, you know, with everybody um, talking and kind of conforming, we're all going to work as a team together of trying to figure out what, what can work the best. All right, so Brian, we've been out here all day watching you do your thing with, the, with a lot of these professional surfers. Um, we've seen some amazing techniques and a lot of learning happening here today. But, you know, for the average guy, like myself who, who wants something to take away from today. Is there something basic that you can show me right now that we can try out? Yeah, ba basically, if we're coming up to an average person yep. who's in trouble, swimming distress, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gesture my hand, uh -huh. you know, to them. So, you know, that person's calling for help. So as that person lifts his hand up, you know, in the air, we'll grab like this. And pull up on and the back pull of the, up in the back of the sled. Okay, so if, if I was out at sea and I was in over my head and I was potentially about to drown, I would raise my hand up to alert you to come and get me. Usually people are learning, right? Yeah. And they don't know how to grab, so most times they'll try to reach for this hand. So what I'll do is I'll cock my hand back. Okay. And I'll gesture in the eyes because you don't know if that person can speak English or whatever. You may tell them, tell them something they don't understand. So I'll gesture. All right. So as I'm moving forward and stuff, coming up to, to you and stuff, and you try and reach for this hand here, yep. go ahead and, and I'll shoot up. Okay. Okay? All right. Let's, grab it. Okay. Let's, let's give it a try. Okay. Here we go. So this is 
was uh, if someone's drowning, this is a safety technique that Brian's gonna use on the jet ski. Pull me on back and forth. Something he's been explaining to a lot of these guys today. And uh, we're gonna see if it works on me. My friends, that's Brian Kalana doing what he does, saving people. <laughs>